Good morning, Smith Station. I'm Jessica Tomas, and this is PNN. Your books are currently on sale for $75 and can be purchased for Mr. Myrick in room 104A. There are only a few still available, so order yours today. Senior Awards Night will be on May 4th at 6 p.m. Eastern in the Junior High Auditorium. See Mrs. Rowan if you have received a scholarship or an award and you plan on attending. All juniors will be taking the ACT next Tuesday. Juniors, please make sure you're at school on this day. Any student interested in being an athletic training student for the football team next year must attend a mandatory meeting after school today at the Fieldhouse. Brianna Victor and Dana Dennis have a chance to compete in a national conference in California this summer and compete against students all across the nation in healthcare events. They are working on raising money. Please see one of them or Mrs. Riggs if you would like to make a donation or know someone who would like to. Now with your national sports, here's Caleb Carroll. The weather has been really crappy lately, but it held off on Saturday for Auburn and Alabama's A-Day games. Auburn beat Tigers in the lowest scoring spring game since the Gus bus pulled into town, 24 to 14. The spotlight was on the new Tigers defense under new defensive coordinator Will Muschamp and Jeremy Johnson, who right now is Auburn's man to fill in the starting quarterback position left by Nick Marshall. Muschamp's defense had an impressive debut despite having Carl Lawson and Jonathan Jones out with injuries. Jeremy Johnson threw for 252 yards and two touchdowns. In Tuscaloosa, White beat Crimson 27-14. The offense had their moments, but the defense grabbed six interceptions. Jake Coker, as of now, is the Tide's go-to guy for the starting quarterback position, throwing 183 yards, a touchdown, and an interception. The other man competing for the job, David Cornwell, threw two interceptions. But as Blake Sims proved last year, that might not mean much. Sims threw two interceptions last A-Day, then went on to take the starting job and set the Alabama record for passing yards in the season. And speaking of quarterbacks, it looks like it's Tebow time again. The Philadelphia Eagles signed former Heisman Trophy winner Tim Tebow in yet another, let's just say, interesting offseason move. Tebow hasn't stepped onto an NFL field since his very, very short time as the Patriots' third-string quarterback during the 2013 preseason. Tebow is on the list of the five worst quarterbacks in the league in the past five years, along with Mark Sanchez and Sam Bradford. Thing is, all three of them are on the Eagles' roster right now. But hey. At least they don't have this guy. The offensive coordinator, you got a busted play here. And then, oh, no. and then Sanchez gets hit, the ball is loose, and it's a... Oh, yeah, they do. It's just, it's just frustrating. That's it for your national sports. I'm Caleb Kerr. We'll pee in. Now here is Mario Serenis with the locker skit. Right now, I'm in front of a lot of blockers. This, oh my, oh my god. Uh-uh. But this one, this one, oh god. In front of this, wait, that one, that one's not open. In front of this one, right here. Uh, this one, this one. Oh, that one's thing too, that has some tuna for lunch. Um, and this one. So, we finna see what's all in these, you know. And we'll be right back. Now we're in front of this one. 2383. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and check this one out. What in the world? What the world is this? Oh my God. I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in there. I don't like I don't like frogs. They mm -mm. Ugh. Oh look at this. I've been looking for this. <laughs> here. Here, go ahead and take this. Hold this for me. I've been looking for that for real though. All right, anyways, um, yeah, we got these tickets right here. Ooh, got these tickets. I'm finna go ahead and just sell these. Hey, whoever, hey, whoever want to come to a game, just hit me up, all right? For real. $5 a ticket, though. I don't care. $5 is up to y'all. Now we in front of 2403. All right, let's go ahead and open this up, see what we got in here, what we got in here. All right. We got this right yeah, that's dead. That's completely dead. It's over with. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in there. All right, there we go. All 
All right, we got this extension cord right here. I might have to keep this. For real, they taking charging to another level. Hmm. No phone's going dead, huh? Let me put this back in there. I'm gonna come back for this later, for real. Y'all remind me to come back. Now here is Antonio Reese with a few highlights from prom. Recently prom was held. The theme was under the sea. We'd like to thank the junior class officers as well as teachers and all every other teacher that participated. We're truly grateful for the extraordinary night you gave us. Here's a slideshow of how it went. For all you juniors and sophomores, be sure to come out next year and enjoy an extravagant night. Now at your high school sports, here's Nadia Hamilton. The boys golf team has a match tomorrow versus Opelika. The softball team will be competing in the area tournament next Thursday and Friday. And congratulations to our baseball team for defeating Central to qualify for playoffs. The first round will be this weekend at Enterprise. So good luck to all of our Panthers. Congratulations to the girls soccer team for qualifying for playoffs next week. Also, congratulations to the boys' soccer team for also qualifying for playoffs. The track team will be hosting sectionals this Friday and Saturday, and students are welcome to come to the track meet on Friday. Tickets will be on sale during lunch waves for $5, so be sure to get yours. That's all for your high school sports. Back to you, Jessica. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to us on YouTube. Have a great day, Smith Station.